guys and welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. Next video we'll be taking a look at one of the deluxe packs from the Saga Legends and this one is the Boba Fett and Stormtrooper pack. Before that we'll look at the packaging. This one comes in. As you can see it's the new the new wave of Star Wars Rebels version due to the TV series that came out about two months ago. And you've got the Stormtrooper and Boba Fett. Now on the back you've got Estelle from Empire Strikes Back where Vader's ordering Boba Fett to take Han to Jabba and you've got several other packs available in the wave so I might try and get that one I might try and get the Garb Zeb and the Stormtrooper one as well and maybe the Yoda and Darth Sidious I'm not too fussed about Grievous and Obi-Wan and Luke and Vader and so I've already got a C3P and R2D2 I don't really need another one so that's the packaging. There's no real, no real description on these this time. So just carry on there. So first we'll take a look at the Stormtrooper. Uh, unlike previous releases, like the one in the Black series, this is just a basic Stormtrooper with a swivel neck, swivel shoulders, and swivel hips. There's no elbow or wrist articulation, only an ankle articulation. So it's more it's more just a display Stormtrooper. Cause it it looks pretty good on my shelf regardless. So. I'm happy with that. There's not really that much to do. There's not really that much, and, the, and of course the helmet's not removable like most stormtroopers in this way, or most characters in this wave anyway. The helmet. So it's pretty basic. Nothing really much about that. I didn't really, I didn't really get the pack thing for him. I more, I, was, I more got the pack for Boba Fett because it's rather embarrassing. This is the only adult Boba Fett that I own. I've got the. I've got the original Kid Boba Fett from the time when that was released back in Attack of the Clones, but this is the only adult one I've got. So, however, this is a pretty good figure because like there's good enough detail on the figure. It makes it's a great addition to the collection. Uh, of course, his jetpack is removable. So you've got his green Empire Strikes Back jetpack. Because of course in Jedi, if you look closely, he's actually got a similar jetpack like this to the one that Jango Fett has in Attack the Clones. Only gets destroyed because it kind of it does kind of still fit on as well. Because this is this is the one from the Boba Fett in the Episode Two collection bit. So. And the, artic the articulation of Boba Fett's pretty much the same. Swivel neck, swivel elbows, swivel hips. However, I kind of like the stance that uh, Hasbro have decided to put him in. And the sculpt of the helmet was really, really good, I think, for, for this figure. So, it, it, despite the lack of articulation, it is a pretty good job of the figure. And... It was worth, it's worth adding to my collection because I mean they got they got detail for it with the logo and the wrist blaster rockets. And of course, includes Boba Fett's signature blaster, which can be held quite easily, thanks to the use of his thumb. So yeah, that was just a quick recap review as I haven't been on YouTube for a little while. I've been a bit, bit preoccupied with A level stuff, but I'll be able to be back on. I should try and get some more reviews out this Christmas time, so I'll be able to have a bit of time off and be able to put some reviews on. So I'll see you next time. Bye.